What's going on guys? God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today we are at our maintenance client where I have uh, three vehicles uh, to do, but I'm very excited this video. Um, we're going to be talking different topics, detailing related, right? May not be kind of showcasing work, but really we're going to be talking about a couple things, right? So stick around and uh, let's get started. So recently I received a care package from Mr. Eddie Cologne, right? Um, as always, God bless you, bro. Thank you so much for everything you do for the community, uh, everything you do as well for us uh, detailers, right? And once again, uh, congratulations on your um, new endeavor, right? I'm excited to see the uh, launch of the House of Rags and congratulations uh, to Jamie, the cleaner as well. God bless both of you guys. Um, I think we all, as a detail community, um, bless your business um, and really bless your journey, right? Um, but Mr. Eddie recently sent me a gift package from Armor, 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 Detail Supply. Sorry, I can never get the Armor part. I can say Armor all. <laughs> But from Armor, Armor Detail Supply. <laughs> Armor. <laughs> All right. Um, and he sent me a bunch of stuff. I will be very honest. I don't know nothing about this brand. I've never done really my research on this brand. So this is very new to me. Right. And I know Eddie did not ask me for a product review. He did. He sent me this. Right. But uh, many of you guys saw my Facebook post and you guys saw that I had it. And a lot of you guys were like, hey, can you go ahead and uh, give us your honest feedback? Right. So um, I don't know the pricing. I won't post no links, no nothing like that, because um, I believe Eddie is going to be carrying uh, or the House of Rags is going to be carrying armor, armor detail supply. Um, so for that reason, I am not posting any links other than whenever um, the House of Rags goes live with their website. Uh, I want to make sure I post their li links uh, strictly. Obviously, uh, Eddie uh, gifted me this. So the best thing for me to do is really wait and uh, post the links later. Right. So you guys can go and support them. No, I don't have a discount code, nor did I ask for one. Um, so um, we're going to be playing with some different products, right? Um, honestly, uh, initial impression on these products. Uh, labeling looks cool. The way that, you know, the, the display, right? Amazing. I have really enjoyed it. Uh, we're, uh, we're pretty much done with uh, this vehicle right now. We're going to start cleaning the wheels, the tires really well. I do have the tire dressing as well. Um, I've seen some videos of it. I think Jamie showcased it in one of on a truck, um, but that's about it, right? Um, I probably won't use it um, on in this video um, because I'm probably going to try it on my own video vehicles first. Um, but we're definitely going to be testing out or trying out their uh, shampoo plus high foaming shampoo. I will say. If there's one thing I would like better is, oh my gosh, can y'all even read the instructions on this thing? They are so small. <laughs> like, I think I would need like a magnifying glass to read this. Uh, but this is a pH neutral uh, soap, right? Um, it's safe to use on all coatings, sealants, and waxes. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Let's do the smelling test, right? Um, unopened, so that's really cool. All of these come protected with this seal, 
uh, so it doesn't spill or anything. Smelling, wow. It smells like a drink. It smells like some fruity drink I could drink like on a hot day. <laughs> but we're gonna go two ounces of this product in our foam cannon. Um, and you know, you could put uh, one ounce on your um, buckets, right? But we're gonna go two ounces in the foam cannon. We're using the uh, Max Shine uh, foam cannon, and of course we do not doesn't fit. So I'll probably have to cut this later. But for now, we're just gonna do it like this because this isn't working. So we're gonna go two ounces here. All right, that's two ounces. So I need to cut this. Okie dokie. We're gonna shake it up nicely. All right. Let's wash this car. Franco, Franco details with uh, the devils in the detail. <laughs> that name always uh, <laughs> scares me. The devils in the detail. Could have could been like Jesus Christ is in the detail? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but anyways, I wanted to give a huge shout out to him. Uh, he sent me, graciously sent me this uh, bucket. Uh, this one is the stick shift, guys. This is one of his uh, new innovations. He has the stick shift and then he has a double clutch. I think the other one is called. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would have had that double clutch. Um, but check this out, guys. So now um, this is going to eliminate a lot of back egg. Because uh, you can literally just grab this and look at that. You can literally um, just move it around. The wheels, the, the everything is nice. I'm able to really maneuver it really, really nice. Even look, with just, just one finger, I can literally just push it around, right? Um, but this is definitely a great idea. I'm going to be maybe upgrading this or maybe changing some things to it. Make it look a little bit different than all of y'all's no i'm just kidding <laughs> he sent me the orange one so thank you so much um but honestly this has been such a lifesaver because look before i kind of had to do this right and some of you guys have the the ones uh just with the wheel alone so you kind of had to grab your bucket and like move right now i can literally stay standing and just move the bucket around right so uh, he also has a double clutch so you can have one for your uh, wheel cleaning and you can have the other one connected for your wash mitt cleaning right for your contact wash so um, again I think this is a very amazing ingenuity because I'm not going to say product because it's already a product but an ingenuity I'll post a link to his YouTube channel go out there and support this man um, he definitely is thinking outside of the box um, I don't know if he's selling these, but for those who want to learn, I think, how to make these, uh, he also has a video kind of demonstrating to you guys. That, that is one thing I did enjoy is, you know, he's not hiding anything from you guys um, where you can make it, right? So, uh, again, shout out to Franco. Thank you so much. So, let's, let's get to really cleaning these wheels and the tires. All right. Wheels are clean. It's time to now give this baby a nice foam bath. I haven't changed the orifice on my foam cannon and that's one of the reasons why you don't see it very thick um, but I will say um, this wheel is a very nice thick foam once I change the orifice on the foam cannon so one of the ways 
uh, that I love to wash these uh, vehicles is truly uh, no contact. These vehicles are ceramic coated. So I love to always let the product do the work. Uh, majority of the time, the only thing I will uh, agitate is gonna be the bottom portions of these bumpers. Uh, I'm using a very soft uh, bristle brush just to uh, agitate, right? Nothing crazy because I truly want the soap to do majority of the work. And I think some of you guys asked me last time, like, hey, um, did you scrub this car? Uh, and the answer to that was no, because I just let the product just dwell. And I believe if I read correctly on the soap, uh, it says that uh, give it two to three minutes uh, of dwell time so that it can truly emulsify uh, the dirt. So give it some time. While I, we do that, then we just agitate all these areas. So one of the things that caught my attention with this soap is it said it emulsifies the dirt, right? I was able to see that on the second vehicle um, after I foamed it, just let it dwell and you're gonna see how the the, the dirt is really like coming down uh, from this little area. Um, so that was pretty cool seeing how this soap was truly um, emulsifying that dirt, bringing it down. Um, that was really cool. All right, so it's been about three minutes. We're gonna go ahead and rinse uh, this baby off. All of these vehicles are ceramic coated. So one thing I'm noticing is it looks sun friendly to where you don't have to worry about it uh, staining your glass or anything like that. Usually when I start drying the vehicle is when I clearly see if this is a product I'm going to like because of, you know, as you're washing it, majority of a lot of this soap is also just um, sitting. So once it starts drying, you know, and you come with your towel, you'll see like staining, right? You'll start seeing things like that. And that's kind of what I'm trying to see uh, from this product is once it dries like this, how will it perform as I'm drying it? And I can definitely say uh, there is no staining whatsoever from the soap, like residue. The next product uh, I wanna try out on this vehicle, all of these vehicles I'm, I'm uh, working on today are ceramic coated. So uh, the next product I wanna try out is Amplify. It's an SIO2 detailer. This is perfect for uh, this style of vehicles that are ceramic coated. And we're just gonna spray it onto the towel. I usually like to really kind of damp my towel, the initial, uh, the initial application. And then I'll probably just like mist um, one spray after that. And this is just gonna add protection. It's gonna add a nice gloss to the finish. And then we're gonna flip this. So the buff off, there is slickness. There is definitely slickness on the buff off. And you can actually see um, the, you know, the color of this vehicle just, it's, it's in the name, I guess, Amplify. <laughs> and that's now all I do is, I'm just gonna go with one nice spray blend it into the paint right and then we'll flip this towel over and just buff it off but wow the the slickness you get out of this um it's really nice really really nice like it kind of feels like it starts kind of grabby but once you buff it off man you are getting all the slickness with this product and it smells good too so far i have really enjoyed a lot of their 
like if I've used this product before, but uh, I really have enjoyed the scent on what I have tried so far. So in working on these wheels, right, um, one of the things these customers um, really love is making sure that their wheels are nice and dry. So how I do it is, uh, this is a Max Shine um, wheel brush, right? This is the flat one. I tend to wrap a towel around it nicely and then at the bottom, I'll just kind of zip tie it. And then what I'll do is I'll put some quick detailer on there, right? And then all you're doing is just rubbing. You can tell how good I cleaned that wheel. Look at that, no dirt. And all you're doing is just sticking your, your brush in here and just agitating, not agitating, but drying this wheel with this, uh, with, with this SIL2 or, you know, that's just to give, that's just to give these wheels and tires a nice appearance. So it's kind of how I do it to dry the wheels. And the last product I want to talk about on this video today is going to be by, is going to be by, oh my God. And the last product uh, we're going to demonstrate and showcase is tire conditioner. Um, I ended up repurposing these. Uh, these were from that kit that I got from the SPTA, from the SPTA right? Um, and we're just using this sponge. And we are just going to apply this dressing by hand with the sponge. This thing smells like bananas. So it definitely gives you a beautiful gloss on the tires. I do like that look. I definitely do. Check that out. Wow. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. So if you're looking for that, man, God dang, it smells good. So if you're looking for that dressing that you're like, man, I'm looking for a dressing that gives me just that nice gloss on these kind of tires. This is definitely one that I would say I would definitely buy again. And it kind of looks like it'll dry to the touch. You definitely, I feel like I'm not getting any oily residue. But that is a beautiful, beautiful dressing. And that pretty much wraps up uh, today's video. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed a little bit of the uh, demonstration on these new products uh, that I received. Once again, shout out to Eddie uh, for sending me this gift. I truly appreciate it. Um, I honestly believe that these are some really, really good products. The, uh, the Amplify impressed me as well as the, um, the tire dressing um, because I felt like as it dried up, it's like slick, it's not slick, so it's dry to the touch, right? So it's a dressing that I feel like a lot of us would love to use because we don't have to worry about slinging or anything like that. Um, but as you guys can see, the results speak for themselves. Obviously, this is a well-maintained vehicle, so the results are always gonna look amazing, right? Um, the Amplify, I loved it. Nice topper to put on these ceramic coated vehicles to give it that hydrophobic, uh, I'm sure, uh, effect, uh, but as well, nice and slick uh, to the touch. And it really amplifies the gloss on this vehicle. So as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. God bless you guys. Oh, shout out to Franco again for sending me the uh, uh, stick shift uh, of the bucket, bucket dolly. So thank you so much for that gift as well. Um, as always, God bless you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend.